Tango Slicer Auto Support Part 4, Smart Support Base Settings. In this video, we will explain to you the smart support base settings in Tango Slicer. If we don't enable base plate, the support bars will be generated directly on the build plate. After selecting this option, Tango Slicer will generate base plate at the bottom of the supports. The base plate strengthens the connection between the supports and the build plate and therefore helps improve printing success rate. Plat Types In Tango, there are four base plate types, rectangle, convex hull, minimum area, and project area. Rectangle means that the base plate size is the project area of the parts bounding box on the platform. The rectangle base plate is large in size and can prevent parts from falling off the build plate. Convex hull is a convex polygon that connects the points of the outermost ring of the supports. It's suitable for most of the models. Minimum area is to generate base plate by connecting the bottom of the supports in a linear way, it helps save printing material. Project area means that the base plate size is the project area of the part on the XY plane, it's suitable for printing of dental molds. Plat offset. If the plat type is convex hull or minimum area, the plat offset is the distance between the base boundary and the center of the support column. If the plat type is rectangle, the plat offset is the distance between the base boundary and the parts bounding box. If the plat type is project area, the plat offset is the distance between the base boundary and the project area. Plat height and slot angle. The plat height is the thickness of the base plate. The slot angle is the angle between the base plate side and the build plate. A smaller angle makes it easier for users to remove the base plate from the build plate. Perforation After enabling perforation, Tango will automatically perforate the base plate. It has the benefit of saving printing material and reducing the peel force to the base plate. In Tango Slicer, the perforation automatically avoids the support column so that the supports don't fall inside the holes of the base plate. Hole Radius and Hole Interval Hole radius is the radius of the holes in the base plate, hole interval is the distance between the center of the holes in the base plate. By modifying these two parameters, you can control the density of the holes in the base plate. Hole Edge Number The smaller the hole edge number, the more polygonal the holes tend to be. The bigger the hole edge number, the more circular the holes tend to be. Thank you for watching.